right inside this establishment on this podium is where recently elected members of the East African Legislative Assembly will take their oath as guided. Taking oath is usually the first business we have before election of speaker. It gives members the mandate to vote. The 63 from seven countries of the region are set to take to the podium. We have received lists from all partner states of East Africa. That is right from Burundi, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, DRC, South Sudan, and United Republic of Tanzania. All the members have successfully registered. One of them is George Odongo, the other is Rose Akol, both from Uganda, who are optimistic in their next tour of duty. So our role this time is going to really put the council on the spotlight to tell us, to show cause why we should not um, ask the East African citizens to reprimand them for non-action. We have so far passed almost all the legal framework that is required to put in place the East African Monetary Union. So this is the stage where we are supposed to establish the East African Central Bank, which should ultimately bring East Africa into a one currency uh, unit. Focus on addressing non-tariff barriers and advancing political confederation and federation appear to be top among their starting points. So I really want to see that as we move into this five-year term, those two pillars are achieved so that in the five years we are here, we have the political federation. Successful taking of oath will be followed by election of the assembly speaker on Tuesday. Four candidates, including three from South Sudan and one from Burundi, expressed interest. One of the three has confirmed pulling out of the race. In respect to my country's decision and also uh, giving respect and support to my uh, colleague and friend, Honorable Dr. Anito, I stepped aside and I withdrawn my application. The rules indicate that the speakership is determined in the first round on the basis of a two-thirds majority. Whether there's a competitor or not, an election has to take place. Expected at the swearing-in is Kenya's former presidential candidate, Raila Amolo Odinga, whose daughter Winnie Odinga recently became a member of IALA. Henry Okrut, UBC, Arusha in Tanzania.